Uh, before I get on to anything else, happy new podcast, everyone. It's the, um, I don't know, the Guy Fawkes stroke Halloween, but it's the Halloween special. Let's call it that. The James Bond Halloween special. James Bond Halloween special. And happy birthday to Howie Alexander, piano player extraordinaire, whose birthday it is today, Lee, which is the 27th of October, and it's lunchtime. Yes. Right. I, I can't wait to go and watch the misogynist, drunken assassin kill the baddies. Because normally, <laughs> that description wouldn't be the bad person, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah. But I am looking forward to the spectre of it he's, all. He's... <laughs> if you've been affected by any of the issues raised in today's podcast... Timmy usually is. <laughs> First, and before I forget this picture, uh, there was an article in today's news about a dog... Who accident? Well, we say accidentally, but he, he stepped on the trigger of, of his mistress's rifle. They were out shooting. I don't know what they were doing. Anyway, she shot the dog. Shot the the owner, and the dog's name is Trigger. <laughs> but not that's that's good enough as it is. But the dog, and I'll show this on on the thing. The dog looks genuinely sorry. It does. He does not trigger happy at all. <laughs> Very sad. I'm now going to turn this phone off in case we get those. Ziggity ziggity electrical beeps that you get with these phones. Yeah, so I'm going to leave mine on because I'm going to just uh, hone in on one of our regular uh, viewers, Lindsay, Lindsay Davis. Lindsay so, Davis, uh, welcome, Lindsay. We'll be coming back to that a little bit later. A regular Facebooker? Yes, and um, Twitter, extraordinaire. <coughs> so, should we talk about what's going on in Bolton, Tim? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> if we must. Oh, go on, why? What have you got in? No, well, just a bit of, bit of uh, sad news. Uh, the <clears throat> railway in Bromley Cross is shutting. Oh, actually, yeah. This is no joke. Yeah. yeah. Can all the comedians that have... Uh, I'll just say stand-ups these days. This comedian's an old-fashioned term. Yeah. All you, you know, performance comics who've been on at the railway, please go on and register your your, your misery at the yeah. prospect of the railway scene of, such, of so many fantastic comedy nights closing down. Johnny, Hills... Good luck to you. Whatever you may venture, it's uh, they, put a, it, they put it down. We to, had a great time there. Didn't yeah, you? yeah. Put it down to them shutting um, the 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 stop at Bromley Cross. Oh, yeah. A lot of people used to travel there, didn't they? They did. We used to put it on our promotional material. Yes. Twenty minutes from Victoria. Twenty minutes from Blackburn. Yeah. Yeah. Half an hour from laughter. <laughs> hey, but speaking of Bolton Lee, <laughs> it's, it's a shame. It's a shame it's come off the tracks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> let's rewind so, no, that, let's not. so that Lee can get his no, punchline no, in. No, because no. a full transcript of today's programme is available on CFAX, page 334. No, Lee, speaking of Bolton, which you raised, and I, as you know, ladies and gentlemen, none of this is rehearsed. This was the headline, Lee. What is it, this? Bolton Journal. Right, this is the free paper. First right. Pride event does right. town pride. Now, some kind of gay yes. event. They have it in Manchester. This Apparently, Bolton had a pride event. First one. Yeah. What's on the very back of the uh, newspaper? <laughs> now, come on. I don't I don't put these things together. <laughs> I've got, I'm now going to move on to the news stories. News stories. Well, Interesting. okay. From the Reuters news agency. <laughs> Um, there was some, uh, you know, they have a convention for everything these days. Zombie con, would you believe, for fans of the zombie genre, right? Now, a gunman, I know there's nothing funny about people going berserk and shooting people, but I, I don't think anybody was killed in this, so bear that in mind. Well, gunman, this is an American zombie convention, opened fire, injured a few people and then ran off. And when the ambulance people came, <laughs> they couldn't tell who was, who was injured and who was just dressed up as a zombie, you know. They, all, they were all covered in blood <laughs> Probably just shoot him in the body. You've got to shoot him in the head to kill him. That's probably what it was, Tim. That's right. Like the old joke. Make sure he's dead. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now what? All right. Leave it again with him. Yeah, national, it's National Zombie Day. There's a national day for everything. National Poets Day. National, but the most ridiculous one. National Give Mum a Nap Day. Give Mum a Nap? Is that with a pillow over her head? <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. National, national Funny Day. National Traffic Jam Day. We want National Be Drunk Day, don't we, Tim? Well, we like to call it Sunday. Sunday, that's <laughs> right. Friday tea time, Sunday afternoon. Sunday tea time session, boys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> We're back at the No Name soon. Those good people at the No Name. Purveyors of fine ales and facilitators of good conversation. While we're doing that, let's go to a quick break to let you know about Hennigan's comedy show on Friday night. We got smug in a pub, in a nice snug pub. He's going to bring a pub with him, by the way, everybody. Right back after these messages. <laughs> and then, uh, <clears throat> and we're back. Excellent. Looking forward to that, Lee. Hennigan's next Friday, this Friday. This Friday the 30th. They can see you're not listening to me, you know. 
That's all right. I could, Hennigans. I could, I could look at you and not listen to you if you wanted to, but I get that from being married for so long. <laughs> <laughs> now then, again from the Department of Stating the Bleeding Obvious, people with tattoos more likely to be aggressive and rebellious. Mm. Mm. Really? <laughs> I must get myself a tattoo, Tim. Buddy Nora. That'll make yeah. me a bit more aggressive. Yeah, but these days, so many people have tattoos. They're so ubiquitous that to not have a tattoo is the very essence of rebellion, I thank you. I think you should get a tattoo with the word ubiquitous on it. <laughs> it written in Chinese Celtic symbols. <laughs> a full transcript of today's programme is available on uh, Oh, In 18th and 19th century China, Lee, it was normal for a woman to have two husbands. Why? <laughs> what was her name? Why? <laughs> Why Ling? <laughs> <laughs> Why Ning? Yes. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah. Now then, TV news, Lee. <clears throat> in TV news, footage has emerged of a man in a park uh, committing indecent exposure. Warning, this report contains flashing images. <laughs> That's mine. Ah, the shame. We'll be right back after this phone call. Do do. Right, that was a phone call. It's uh, it's lunchtime for one thing. It's twenty five to two. This guy leaves a message. Jeff, don't leave a message. Just say it's Jeff. Call me back because you only end up repeating exactly what you've just said to me when I call you back. Hey, listen, Jeff. <clears throat> anyway, and we're back after that commercial interruption. <laughs> Lee, I went on McVitie's website the other day. Oh yeah. It I said think... warning: this site contains cookies. Oh come on! <laughs> I'm putting some effort in here. Lee, why, can, a... why can you only get smithereens by blowing things up? Some of the rings? Smithereens. Smithereens? Yeah, why can you, why do you have to blow things up to get them? <laughs> it seems very destructive, Tim. Why can't you just get smithereens? I think it's a great word. There was a band called the smithereens. I like the word the smithereens. I do too. And that bit would have been better had you enunciated properly, uh, rather than just going... It's a Bolton thing, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I can cut that in later and add some laughter, that's fine. Go on. Uh, Lee, there was a po- I saw a poster recently for a charity fundraising auction for the Paranoia Trust. It said, sealed bids only. <laughs> ah. But then I thought, Paranoia Trust? Who are they trying to kid? <laughs> I actually oh. used that last month as part of my oh. th- all homage to Tim. You're welcome. It, was very- it went down very well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Yes, me too. Lee, I shall see you on Henning... Uh, <clears throat> Friday. <laughs> Friday the 30th of October, <laughs> Hennigans. Ta-ta! Cheers, Tim. <laughs> you know, we could leave all that in and nobody... I don't think anybody watches anyway. Oh, hang on. While the music's... Yeah, I was going to put in a bit of... <laughs> but I'm not sure how true this story is. Um, a guy called Carl Matthews uh, loses his job. His girlfriend of four years dumps him. And while he's depressed, he's fiddling around on sites. And wins £386,000, gets reported in the local newspaper. Suddenly, his girlfriend's back interested in him again. Yeah. Said he lacked ambition. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. that, that lack of ambition matters not a jot. That's you know. fantastic. Yeah. So why did you bring that up? Because I wasn't sure if it was a true story perpetuated by the people who were trying to get you to go online. It was on their site. Uh, so I thought, is it, is it not? It's an amusing story. Didn't say at the side of it, sponsored bullshit. <laughs> That's right. Try and spin yourself right now. See if you could be a winner. And that extra segment was brought to you by Hennigan's Bolton Berry Road, <laughs> 30th of October. Ta-ta!